Chrome OS 116 is here and this update heralds the end of Chrome OS as we know it. I'll show you why in this video, so be sure to stay tuned to the end so you don't miss any important info about the latest Chrome OS update. Let's start straight away with a revolution for Chrome OS because Google is actually starting to separate the operating system from the Chrome browser with Chrome OS 116. As a reminder, Chrome OS originally emerged from the Chrome browser, so the operating system was previously inseparable from the browser. While the close interlocking of Chrome OS and the Chrome browser in the early days ensured that Chromebooks had a very lean software architecture and were therefore extremely fast, the strong dependence on each other has now become a real stumbling block. Chrome OS has made great strides forward in recent years with the implementation of a fully fledged Linux Debian operating system, the Google Play Store and native Steam support, and is now much more than just the Chrome browser. By separating Chrome OS and Chrome browser, there is a decisive advantage, because in future, the browser and the operating system can be updated independently of each other. This means that older Chromebooks, for example, can be supplied with security updates for the browser for much longer, which will further increase the lifespan of all Chromebooks. So every single Chromebook user will benefit from this major development, as they will be able to use their device for longer in the future. In addition, Chromebook users will be able to get security updates for the browser faster, as they will not have to wait for the full Chrome OS update. The project to do away with the Chrome browser integrated into Chrome OS started about three years ago and goes by the name Lacros. Lacros stands for Linux and Chrome OS and the Lacros browser will replace the previous Chrome browser in the future. But you don't have to get used to to it, because the new Lacros browser is nothing other than the Linux version of the Chrome browser and therefore hardly differs from the Chrome browser integrated in Chrome OS at first glance. To activate the Lacros browser for your Chromebook, you can use the Chrome flag, hashtag Lacros only, and set it enabled. You can then see from the version number in the browser settings that you are now using the Lacros browser. The fact that the browser and the operating system are now separated from each other becomes clear when you go to the Chrome flags as usual. The because there is now a new hint here, namely that for adjustments to the operating system in the browser you have to enter OS divided by divided by flags. To make adjustments to the operating system in the browser, for example, if you want to deactivate Lacros again. As usual, enter Chrome divided by divided by flags. As usual, you will now only see the flags that affect the browser. What do you think about Lacros and this milestone in the further development of Chrome OS? Feel free to let me know now in the comments. Another new feature in Chrome OS 116 is the further development of the search function in the Files app. For example, if you search for a file, the local storage will be searched first. But with the new filter functions, you can also search in your Google Drive by clicking on My Files and selecting Everywhere instead. In addition, you can also narrow down the search by a certain period of time or by a certain file type. An advanced autocorrect feature has also been introduced, but it's only available in English at the moment, but it's enabled there by default and works for both the physical and digital keyboard. If you have a Chromebook with an RGB keyboard, such as the Acer Chromebook 516G, you can customize the colors of the different keyboard areas, but of course you can also just set a single background color. If you want to see my detailed Chromebook tutorial with lots of helpful tips and tricks, then click on the left video now. If you want to know the top 10 tips and tricks every Chromebook user should know, click on the right video now and I'll say thank you for watching and see you in the next video.